Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little review here of uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop developer preview here uh, on the Nexus 5. So let's uh, take a look at it over here. That can definitely be some, some fun things to do. So uh, this is how it looks uh, when you install it. It comes with this new material design. Uh, so let's see, just check out the lock screen over here. So you can see you have a quick way to um, open up the um, dialer, or it should be. God. Oh, there we go. So you have the swipe there from the side. And you can bring up the, uh, the dialer there. You can also bring it down. You can kind of see the cool animations. So you can also see when you tap on things, you kind of get this like animation effect, uh, which I also do enjoy. You have three buttons down here, a multitasking button, which is showing this very, very gorgeous uh, UI, uh, like these different pages. I also think that if you have Google Chrome open up and uh, you have multiple tabs that you, they can display all of them over here. You can also see that it's very, very smooth. and it goes very, very quick. Let's take a look at the other thing here on the lock screen, which is a quick access here to uh, the camera, which is a well ball in a couple of different modes. Uh, you do have four by three mode and also a 16 by nine mode, which I'm using right now. Uh, you can tap here, of course, uh, and see a bunch of different things where you can uh, change stuff. You can, of course, change here to the front facing and change back here. Uh, you also have a flash mode, an HDR mode. Uh, you can also, if you need to align, you can do that. Uh, you can also have a timer. But pretty, pretty straightforward there, uh, the, the camera app. Uh, let's uh, move on here and see what else do we have here along let's say lock screen of course we can see the clock uh, you can see this like text uh, go up there and you can kind of see here uh, the animation effect when you unlock the device uh, we do have a pretty interesting background uh, color like a white color here when you go into your app drawer you can also see that animation pretty interesting uh, we don't this is the only page we have once you set it up uh, you also, of course, have a notification area up here where you can, with two fingers, swipe down uh, this area here and a quick little brightness slider here and uh, some other, like, flashlight. You do have emergency calls or, or airplane mode. What is this? Yeah, that's just because probably I don't have a SIM card. I like how you they have a they do so if you don't have a SIM card and you don't see that like little SIM card thing. Portrait mode, cost screen if you want to cost it if you have a Chromecast, Bluetooth mode, uh, of course your regular Wi-Fi mode. So you can you hold it in to go into it? No, maybe not. Um, if you go in here to the settings area, you can also see this like effect when you go up and down. I'm not sure if I like that that much. Let's go into Wi-Fi, turn on. You can quickly here see the little bit of the uh, the menus and how text and stuff like that looks like. See here if it can connect. Connecting, connected, sweet. Uh, you can also see here, of course, as I said there with the new material design, uh, pretty cool here when you are in uh, this new version of Google Play, uh, how the red color over here, let's say, uh, also brings up a, a, like a matching color up there in the top bar, which uh, I definitely do enjoy. Of course, you have this like nice little swipe interface over here as well. Uh, can you can see this kind of effect when you go in here, which is also pretty nice, I think. Uh, let's go to restore home and let's see you go to the book section here you can kind of see everything matches up there up there in the up there at the top I really really do enjoy that of course the the normal app section over here uh, 
and you can also of course see these cool effects here in the top when you go down over here uh, what I found interesting is that it comes with not the Google Chrome browser, but it comes actually with uh, its own kind of browser over here first. Well, I'm not really sure why that's the case. Uh, why don't they have like the Google Chrome browser instead? Uh, but of course, you can just download the Chrome browser and it might just be because it's a, it's a, it's a developer preview. So I downloaded the Chrome browser here, uh, which of course has also this new material design update to its, uh, to its interface. As you can see on the tab section here. A new tab, you can of course have incognito tab and, and all of that. Uh, of course you can see this very, very nice keyboard here, which I really, really enjoyed typing in my password in. It really felt natural. And you can also see how snappy and quick still the, the Nexus 5 is overall. Really, really good performance. You can also see, you can see when you hit the sides here or go up too fast, uh, really, really nice. And then when you just go in here, I mean, this mode is just amazing. If you want to remove anything, of course, here in the multitasking or recent section, which they're calling it, it is really, really nice. Uh, you also, of course, uh, can say, okay, Google, what is two plus two? Okay, Google, what is five minus eight? The answer is minus three. Set alarm for 9 a.m. Setting alarm for 9 a.m. Open dialer. Hmm, okay, couldn't do that. That's interesting. I think you actually can open some things. Turn on Bluetooth. Opening Bluetooth settings. As you can see, that's pretty cool. Change brightness. Change brightness. Settings. As you can see, that's also pretty cool. Uh, let's see here if we can do things like um, open camera. Very, very nice. You can also see you have a mode here on the sides uh, of the of the camera up here: lens blur, panorama effect, photosphere, video mode, of course, uh, which is uh, of course pretty good to have, pretty cool to have. Um, you do have a display section here. Let's see here if we do have some new wallpapers. So it seems to be all new kind of wallpapers here, which we do enjoy. I think most people do. They really should update the Sunbeam though. <laughs> I mean, that one is uh, pretty, pretty old. Live wallpaper is only that one still. I'm not sure why they don't update that. It, it should definitely work more on that. Um, so it's just a quick little look here. Uh, it's very, very nice. If you go down here to about phone, Android 5.0. As you can see, you can play the Easter egg as well. You can also see it goes out quick, which it's great. Uh, you have a date and time. It's weird, this little thing there. I mean, it's cool, maybe. Uh, backup and reset, I also heard, is like updated, so should be a little bit easier to reset everything if you want to do that. Of course, you have the normal app section here. Wow, you got some really, really detailed stuff in here. That could definitely be good to have. So um, just a quick little review here uh, of this uh, of this update. Uh, I definitely do do enjoy it. Uh, I think it uh, is an an awesome little 
and awesome little updates. You have the music here, which seems to be some kind of ugly app here. They should definitely probably update that little app. Download section, but uh, that's about it. That's like all of the apps or most of the apps here. And they also have a nice little new setup option when you uh, open up Play Store and set up your account. Also looks here like the uh, the calculator has been a little bit updated. So um, yeah, quick little look here at it. Hopefully you all did enjoy. If you want to see anything specific with uh, this uh, version uh, of the software, definitely let me know about that. And I definitely will see what I can do. You can see you have different modes here uh, for sound which is cool that you have a ton of different modes. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this uh, quick little review here uh, of it here on the Nexus 5. Of course, we're gonna get the Nexus 6 coming here in uh, next month. So that's definitely gonna be awesome. So um, definitely stay tuned for that. Have a nice day.